Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. It is Thursday, the 15th of January already, halfway through the month. Thank you so much for joining me. We've got a uh, low pressure zone moving into the country at the moment. It's pretty weak, but as you can see, we've got a few thunderstorms uh, in the last sort of six hours before we recorded this video. And as the low slowly moves into central parts of the country, it will bring more instability and more downpours. And you can see some of those sort of heavier showers here sort of bubbling up behind a lot of this cloud. So it's a messy system. You know, there's going to be forecasts today that aren't accurate. And I can tell that just from looking at that kind of low where, you know, rain might be forecast, it doesn't really turn up. And in other areas, you might get a thunderstorm out of the blue. So we've got messy weather moving through the North Island and the Upper South Island, but the Lower South Island, it is cooler, but it's also drier as well for the most part. So here is the air pressure map. We've got low pressure moving into the country. It's not a major storm, but it's enough to bring that instability. And with the daytime heating, uh, that means you get more instability during the afternoon period. So that's why we're monitoring what happens across today and tomorrow as that low moves around. Plenty of low pressure in the tropics and right over Australia. And this low here in the uh, Coral Sea one to keep a close eye on. It's already been identified as a potential tropical cyclone. We've seen that a few times over the last couple of weeks. They don't always eventuate, but the modeling is getting a little more kind of sure of itself. I'd imagine uh, tomorrow we'll be able to lock it in a bit more for you. So at the moment, that low uh, west of New Caledonia is the one to monitor, but there's another low obviously here just south of Fiji. So one o'clock Friday, that low south of Fiji, pretty weak. Uh, we've got a larger area of low pressure in the New Zealand zone. And so we've got wet weather along uh, eastern areas and maybe a few more showers still in the west as it all sort of moves eastwards. And you may still have some heavy falls in the afternoon, you know, thunderstorm, that sort of thing, due to the daytime heating coupled with the instability thanks to lower air pressure. Otherwise, the next main feature for New Zealand is this big high just south of Tasmania. It's gonna stay south of New Zealand and it's gonna play a role next week with the potential uh, low pressure zone, the potential tropical cyclone up here next to New Caledonia. So Saturday, forget the tropics, all about the incoming high because as the high moves in, it dredges up this colder airflow. Now, most of the cold stuff well southeast of New Zealand. But if you're wondering why your temperatures are down around parts of Southland, coastal Otago, Canterbury, and right up to Wellington, wide at Upper and Hawke's Bay, it's because of the incoming high and this southerly flow coming in. So it might be an easterly or a northeasterly locally, but overall it's a southerly coming from the sub-Antarctic region. So we've still got a few showers around, one or two might be heavy again into the afternoon for more inland and western areas, uh, eastern areas, a bit of cloud coming off the sea. Um, northern areas look mostly dry and sunny and probably quite warm on Saturday and, uh, once the sun comes out. So let's go to uh, Sunday and we look at the tropics and the high pressure zone. So the high is getting stronger, it's getting more powerful as it moves in. It is likely to remain south of New Zealand for now. So that means the low up here that is deepening on Sunday around the Coral Sea and near the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, that's going to allow that system to potentially drop closer towards us. But the high pressure zone is the main feature, not the cyclone. The high, if it's over us, the cyclone can't, uh, can't come into us. So we'll be monitoring where that goes next week, coupled with that low up there. So between the two systems, easterly winds coming through. Now you've still got that colder airflow, southeast, just southeast of the Chatham Islands, coming around as a northeasterly from East Cape right down to the Catlins. So that means even though it's a nor'easter, it's not a very warm one, not that they often are, but uh, this one is being dredged up from the south. So it won't be especially warm in eastern areas. The flip side is the western side of the country should warm up and become sunnier. So it's a reversal of where we've been over the last couple of weeks. And those easterlies get a little brisk at the top of the country. We do have some showers in the mix, especially for eastern areas. The northern part of the country, a little bit hard to lock that in just now, but there should be some showers around, especially north of about Tauranga and north of Auckland. So next week, Monday, now we've got this potential tropical cyclone developing. Uh, we will probably not know if it's turning into a cyclone until maybe the weekend. You never quite know with these systems. As you saw the other day, it was being split into two different lows. Today, it is showing one large low. So it's the larger it is, the less likely it is to be a tropical cyclone at the center. It needs to be very tightly packed in the middle. That is beginning here around Sunday, Monday. But for now, again, high pressure south of the country is, is sort of ballooning out to about the top of the North Island. So you've still got those easterly winds blowing through. 
they'll be a little brisk. So if you're in a tent or if you're going out on the boat, it may not be the best weather going into the start of next week at the top of the country. Still got cloud and showers in the east, so Hawke's Bay, no sign of a 37, 38 degree day for you. It'll be a, a fair bit cooler for you with that breeze coming straight off the sea. And remember again, track the origins of it south of New Zealand. So as we go through next week, like I say, all about that big high. So the high is firmly in control of our weather. Uh, well, I shouldn't say firmly in control of our weather, but it's, it's certainly controlling a lot of our weather with that easterly flow. But that easterly will change as that low deepens. Could be a tropical cyclone here by Tuesday around New Caledonia. Uh, but we're protected to, for the most part by this high. But because it's a long way south, it's going to allow that low to move all the way down to about the upper North Island or the Tasman Sea. That's why the computer modeling isn't totally locked in about what happens later next week. But for now, you can see the pattern. Lots of easterlies, lots of northeasterly winds. Temperatures may start to lift up a wee bit on Tuesday in some regions as the airflow becomes less from south of the country. Uh, by Wednesday, the high moves out to the east. Now you've still got a, a northeasterly wind, but maybe perhaps a little more, um, you know, a couple of degrees warmer as the high moves out east of us rather than being south of us. So this map, two different maps here, that's why it's messy, a little confusing. I'll try and make sense of it for you. So the white static non-moving part here where it says 982 with the white lines, that is the American model. The black lines that are moving, the animated part, that is the European model. And what it's showing is low pressure American modeling here, northwest of the North Island, whereas the European modeling sort of shows low pressure perhaps further out into the Tasman Sea. So there's a wee bit of sort of wiggle room around the exact placement next week, but you can see here the red line dropping down, higher humidity. You know, we've got high humidity at the moment. That will ease back into the weekend and next week with that more southerly sort of airflow. But once we get to the middle of next week, I would imagine the humidity levels at the top of New Zealand will be going right up. Warm nights again, just like we had last night in northern New Zealand where it was 20 degrees. Um, and you know, the South Island, some places are struggling to reach 13 degrees as a maximum today. So we've got two totally different airflows at each end of New Zealand. So like I say, not locked in here, the tropical air mass coming down over the country, but the low is split in half. So maybe we're seeing kind of those two different models trying to work out where this goes. It's not locked in at this uh, this far away, a whole you know week away. But what that shows you is rain moving down the eastern side of the North Island, maybe the top as well. Some thunderstorms will be in the mix and some strong winds, could be gale force winds uh, in that forecast. So we're going to need a few more days to really lock that in. But look at that hot, humid, tropical weather at the top of the country. Sub-Antarctic weather just not too far south from us, dredging up yet another cooler southerly change for parts of Otago and Southland. So we've got a messy forecast over the next week. Here is the eight-day rainfall forecast. This is the American modeling, and it very clearly shows where that where they think the tropical uh, low will go. I don't want to call it a cyclone yet because it may not turn into one, but the tropical depression looks as though it's coming down towards us. You're seeing 200 millimeters of rain or more in some parts of Northland, but a little bit further out to the Tasman here, that is right at the bottom of the scale. So there is a fine line between what could happen and what might not happen. If you, you know, in the southern part of the country, not too happy with the temperatures, at least it's mostly dry for you. So there's some good news, I guess, into the forecast. So this is going to change a wee bit because of the messy setup today and because next week is not locked in, but I think it's safe to say tropical depressions are going to be perhaps the main focus along with that high pressure system to the south as we go through maybe the rest of this month. That is all from me. We'll fine tune this a little more tomorrow. I'll see you then.